<laughs> okay, uh, time now to have a look at something else that's a bit interesting and important in the V8 supercar business, and that is the subject of aerodynamics. So I sent my friend here on the left out and about with a camera recently to find out more about the influence that aero has on a V8 supercar. I get asked a lot of questions and a lot of email about V8 supercar aerodynamics, so let's give you the definitive lesson. Firstly, let's understand the concept of aerodynamics. If I draw like an aeroplane wing, which looks sort of something like that, when the air comes along towards the front of the wing, it splits. Some of the air goes around the top of the wing like that and air underneath the wing, sort of like that, and it rejoins at the back. What it means, the shape of this, is that the air over the top has to travel faster because it's further than the bottom here. So fast travelling air means low pressure. So what we get is lift because the pressure there is lower than the pressure under the wing. Now if we transpose that onto a road car, the air comes along the front here. Of course some of the air goes along underneath the car and air goes over the top of a car. Right? Now that fast travelling air over the top of the car again creates low pressure which means lift. Now on a typical road car, if you did 200 k's an hour and don't do that at home, uh, ends up with about 20 to 30 kilograms of lift. Now that's hopeless for race cars. So what they do on a V8 supercar to get around this problem is they bolt on the aerodynamic components. Now let me just show you what they are and how they work. Firstly they start at the front with what we call the splitter. So that goes and the device that you see hanging out the front there is shaped something like that. So that firstly splits the air nicely as it comes along. Some goes under the car, some goes over. But the trick is in here they have a thing called a diffuser. There's a panel inside there angled like that. So this air that comes underneath actually shoots up there and it opens up into a big gap. So by the air going in there and opening up into the gap, it makes this air go even faster under here as it drags it through there. That creates low pressure under there, fast moving air and downforce. They then put side skirts on the car like this to get the car down lower so the air flows nicely on there. They usually have a nice little cut out just here that drags air out from under the bonnet and under behind the wheels that drags this air faster along under here, creates more downforce. We then go along the side of the car, they get to the back of the car. There is another diffuser that works exactly the same as this one down here that creates a little bit of downforce there. But most of all there's a wing that's an upside down aeroplane wing that sits there. So this air that comes over has to go around underneath the wing versus the air over the top. This air, because it's further, has to travel faster. That creates downforce. Now let's go and have a look how all that applies in the real world. So here we are in the Stone Brothers Racing Garage with Shane Van Gisbergen's SP Air Tools Falcon. Okay, so here's the front air dam. Now I just want to show you, if we tip that back, now here's what I'm talking about. Can you see there the way this scallops back? Right, so that's the diffuser. So the air comes under and diffuses into there, which drags the air faster under here and creates that low pressure. So if we have a look at the race car itself, out the front here, here's our splitter, splits the air. So that diffuser is in under there like we spoke about. Then the airflow, these side skirts along the side of the car we spoke about, there's nice little cutouts here to again drag that air out under here, which assists that front air dam up there. We come down to the back of the car, underneath here, the rear diffuser. If you look underneath, Get right in underneath the car here, you can see this angle diffuse, so the air comes along, they've got underneath the car here very tidy for airflow, comes under here, diffuses which drags the air fast underneath which helps right up the front of the car. And at the back and finally of course here's this rear wing and you can see it's an upside down aeroplane wing, so again the air travels fast around here which creates the low pressure and the downforce. Now overall on this race car you're talking around about 20 kilos of downforce at the front and about 180 at the rear at 200 kilometres an hour. And that's the very much the reason, coupled to slick tyres and that big fat engine, that they can drive these things around a circuit so much faster than your road car.